types of automotive chassis. The term chassis should be used to describe the portion of a car's structure that supports weight. Braking, steering, drive, and suspension systems are just a few of the systems that are part of the chassis and are crucial to how the car works. Classification of automotive chassis. All vehicles come in two types of chassis, namely conventional chassis, also known as frameful chassis, and non-conventional chassis. Conventional chassis. Chassis frames support all vehicle systems like the engine, braking system, transmission system, and suspension system. They are made as a separate unit in the shape of a ladder frame and are commonly found in larger vehicles such as trucks, buses, and SUVs. These chassis frames are very durable and are not easily damaged, even in accidents. They are also known as body-on chassis. Advantages 1. It has a higher load capacity and strength. Easy to design and manufacture. Easy to repair after an accident. Parts that are fitted on the chassis can easily be dismantled and repaired. Disadvantages Vehicles with conventional chassis tend to vibrate quickly and the handling and refinement are lower. It consumes a lot of fuel due to the heavier weight added to the vehicle. Non-conventional chassis. Non-conventional or frameless chassis supports all parts in a vehicle and contains a ladder frame within the body. This type of chassis is known as a unibody chassis and is commonly used in modern and luxury vehicles. It has its own advantages and disadvantages making it important to consider when choosing between conventional and unibody chassis. Advantages 1. Higher body rigidity and weight make the handling better. Due to the absence of a frame joint, the vibration and shaking of some loose parts are reduced. It consumes less fuel when compared with conventional chassis. Disadvantages 1. It is not safe in the event of an accident. It has a low capacity for carrying a load. Vehicle design is not really that cool in some conditions. Common types of car chassis. Ladder frame chassis. The ladder frame chassis is an early form of chassis still used in some off-road and commercial vehicles such as the Ford Transit. It is becoming less common due to its heavy weight, but it offers benefits such as easy modification, economical production, and simple manufacture. Backbone chassis. The bottom and upper suspensions are connected by a cylindrical tube with a rectangular cross-section that runs through the middle of the entire structure. This design is commonly used in DMC DeLorean, offering benefits for vehicle stability. However, the cylindrical tube also serves as protection for the drive shaft, although it may have drawbacks. Monocoque Chassis The most widely used vehicle manufacturing solution is a car chassis that incorporates the top portion of the vehicle and the chassis itself, creating a small cage containing all critical parts of the car's framework. This design offers greater safety, simple maintenance, and excellent torsional rigidity. Tubular chassis. This technology, commonly used in racing cars for its high safety in accidents, involves a tubular chassis with a construction similar to a ladder frame. However, in this case, the pieces supporting the body of the vehicle also strengthen and stabilize the entire construction. It is challenging to find such a chassis in regular passenger cars due to higher production requirements and substantial costs. Choosing a chassis is an important factor in many different industries, including the automobile, aircraft, and electronic sectors. Let us know in the comments what kind of car chassis you have. And if this is your first time on our channel, kindly tap on the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.